Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us again for our devotion this morning. Uh, today I'm reading from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. I think we're all familiar with this one about salt and light, Matthew 5, 13. You're the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Salt and light relate to different expressions of our faith. Jesus' metaphor of salt can be considered an inward expression, and his metaphor for light can be considered an outward expression. So let's look at these two individually. Salt's main function at this time was a preservative. Now that would be a significant enough image, but let's look at it a bit more. What Jesus was saying is that if salt loses its taste, its ability to preserve, how can its saltiness be restored? In other words, relating to our faith, if we, not, if we do not preserve our faith, the flavor of our faith, how can it function effectively? How can it mean anything? We should be consistent in preserving our faith and rooting out, rooting out corruption in our souls and stuff on the inside. If we lose our ability to preserve our faith, it is no good. Then our faith becomes mere good deeds at best. And we know that our good deeds are like filthy rags to the Lord, Isaiah 64, verse 6. Now, secondly, Jesus calls believers to be lights of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, so we should shine our lights. Um, in the same way, let our lights shine before people, be evident in our witness. But more than letting our light shine, why are they shining? So that people may see our good works. Yes, but more than that, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So, let's let our saltiness, our faith, Let's preserve our saltiness, preserve our faith. Let's keep the function of our faith and check ourselves inwardly to make sure that our flavor is still strong. And let's make sure our lights are shining so that people may see our good works, but more so that they may see our good works and give glory to our Father who is in heaven. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for um, these metaphors that you've given us and uh, for the sermon that you, that you spoke so long ago, but so relevant today, um, that we are the salt of the earth and the lights of the world. I pray that we'll, we'll be consistent in preserving our faith and keeping the flavor of our salt, uh, that we won't let it, the saltiness go away, um, because we know that's not good for anything. But I pray that we'll be active in our faith, that we'll keep it strong and keep you at the center of it all. Likewise, I pray that our lights will be evident, that our witness will be evident for you, um, that we won't be disregarding it, that we won't be doing things that hurt our, our witness for you, but that our lights will be shining, not just so that people see our good works, but they see them and give glory to you. And I pray that that will be the, the guiding force in, in what we do when we let our lights shine, that we're making sure that people can see you and give glory to you in all that we do. So thank you that you're with us. Thank you for the strength that you give us to let our lights shine. And let us preserve our salt. Um, we thank you, we bless you, and we praise you forever and ever. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you're with us. Thank you that you've promised to come again. And I pray that we'll, as, as we keep going and preserving our salt and letting our light shine, that we'll remember that you're coming again soon and that we'll remember that always. In Jesus' name, amen.